So I just turned 41. This got me thinking, at what age is it too late to start learning how to code? Then I remember a comment from one of my other videos where someone mentioned that if you haven't already learned how to code by about 20 years old, it's already too late. Now the commenter, he was cool about it. He was just sharing his opinion. And I appreciate that. I like having people share their ideas and their thoughts and their opinions in the comment section. It helps me to develop the flow for these videos and gives me insight into what you want to learn. But is he right? If you haven't learned how to code by the time you're 20, is it too late? For me, I was about 30 years old when I first started learning how to code. And again, I just turned 41. And I feel confident in my coding skills. I'm a 100% self-taught coder. If you're new to my channel, then check out my other videos in the upper right corner and take a look at the library of videos I have here on YouTube. If you like what you see, then make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. But now let's talk about the topic of learning to code and its relation to age. And let's first start off talking about the brain itself. Because as we age, the brain kind of changes, right? What I like to tell people is that the brain is like a CPU. It processes a lot of information. But it's also like a hard drive or an SSD or RAM. It stores a lot of information as well. Sometimes it stores that information in your short-term memory, your RAM, and sometimes it stores information in your long-term memory, which can be like a hard drive or an SSD drive. Basically, RAM is faster, like your short-term memory is faster, and hard drives, older hard drives, are slower, kind of like your long-term memory. Understanding the difference between your short-term memory and your long-term memory is important when it comes to learning. It's kind of like cramming for an exam. You can cram the night before and you're going to retain some of that information for a short period of time. But in the long run, you're going to lose that information because you did not study properly. Now, if you have good studying habits, you're going to retain information for the long term which is why it's important to study on a consistent basis versus trying to cram it all in in one shot. And also, the brain consumes a significant amount of energy. As an energy consumer, the brain is the most expensive organ we carry around with us. While the brain represents just 2% of a person's total body weight, it accounts for 20% of the body's energy usage. And the brain also receives about 15-20% to of the body's blood supply. And that pretty much means that your brain is hungry. Now back to the topic about your age and learning how to code. It's generally believed that you can learn something faster and better when you're younger than when you're older. But why is that? Kids' brains are like sponges. They're like blank canvases just waiting to be filled. Kids also don't have a lot of responsibilities and they don't have a lot of things that are taking up their time. Kids don't have the same type of stresses that adults do. Stress can significantly impact your mindset and your learning process. Kids generally have a lot of energy and a kid's brain is about 30% faster than the brain of an adult. Now let's talk about the adult brain. Well, the adult brain is about 30% slower than a kid's brain. And after spending about three, four, five, or six decades on this planet, you have a lot of information within your brain. So that means it's kind of fragmented. And that means we have to find a way to defragment our minds. Adults also have a lot of responsibilities that kids don't. We have to pay the bills, we have to go to work, we have to go food shopping, do laundry, we have to mow the lawn. We have a lot of things on our plate that take away our time from doing things like learning something new. And to be honest, we all develop habits, whether it's good habits or bad habits. And adults generally get set in their ways. Over the years, we develop habits, whether they're good ones or bad ones. And that'll either make it easier or harder for us to learn. And adults have real stresses that can impact our mindset. And let's face it, as you get older, you generally have less energy and you kind of have more aches and pains. So if you're younger, it's kind of easier to learn something new. It's kind of easy to learn how to code. And the beauty about learning how to code when you're young is that you have a lifetime ahead of you. You have years, you have time on your side, and time is an important factor. But now they often say that youth is wasted on the young. And the reason why they say that is because obviously if you knew then what you know now, you probably would do things a lot differently. Maybe you wouldn't waste time. Time is precious. So if you're a teenager or if you're in your 20s, then definitely focus on learning how to code or definitely focus on whatever it is, whatever goals you really have. Because the years, you don't get back. But now if you're an adult, 
and you want to learn how to code, what can you do to get over some of these obstacles that I mentioned? Or is it too late? New research shows the brain has the ability to function well and even excel in old age. The secret? Keep learning. Many people think their ceiling is half of where they could actually go. But if you have a coach helping you, you'll find your limit is way further than you thought. If you're in a learning situation, you're going to be a lot younger. It's the learning that's driving a lot of the development and growth. Razerman said that the study absolutely validated the fact that no matter how old you are, if you use your brain, you're no different than a younger person. In an article from Harvard, it mentions that scientists used to think that brain connections developed at a rapid pace in the first few years of life, until you reach your mental peak in your early 20s. Your cognitive abilities will level off at around middle age and then start to gradually decline. We now know this is not true. Instead, scientists now see the brain as continuously changing and developing across the entire lifespan. There is no period in life when the brain and its functions just hold steady. Some cognitive functions become weaker with age while others actually improve. In another article from Science Daily, it says that learning several new things at once increases cognitive abilities in older adults. According to new research, after just one and a half months learning multiple tasks in a new study, participants increased their cognitive abilities to levels similar to those of middle-aged adults 30 years younger. And there's also a good thread on the Free Code Camp website about learning to code after 40. And the gist of the comments all state that learning to code can be accomplished later in life. Now that being said, what about the 10,000 hour rule that we all hear about? This is generally believed the amount of time it takes to master a skill, 10,000 hours. Now just to put that into an actual time frame, that means that if you study for an hour and a half a day, it can take you about 20 years to become a master. If you study for three hours a day, then maybe you can do it in 10. At least that's the belief in terms of the 10,000 hour rule. But does it really take 10,000 hours? I mean, that seems like an unsurmountable task, right? Maybe you're 30, 40, 50, or 60, and you're like, I gotta spend 10 years in order to master code. A lot of people just throw up their hands and say, you know what, forget it, I can't do this. But a lot of research has come out that says that the 10,000 hour rule really doesn't make sense and that you can master a skill in a significantly shorter period of time. Now, you can spend 10,000 hours half-heartedly learning something and still be a novice. That's a lot of time wasted. Or you can invest six months of deliberate, hardcore learning, practicing, and implementing what you learn and become highly skilled at that particular skill set. Now, six months seems a lot more doable, right? versus 10 years or 10,000 hours or 20 years. It's all about quality versus quantity. Quality time studying versus quantity of just half-heartedly doing whatever it is you think might work without real deliberate practice. Now here are 10 tips to learn how to code at any age. One, focus on learning. Stop multitasking. Turn off your cell phone, stop checking social media or watching TV, and don't check your email. Two, schedule your learning. Dedicate time each day to learning how to code and make it around the same time. Mark your calendar and let the world know you're not reachable during this time. Three, create a study environment. Maybe it's your bedroom, maybe it's a dining room. Just make sure it's free from distractions. Four, learn from books, videos, online tutorials, and other developers. Having multiple sources to learn from that are all related to the same code language will help you make connections of what's taking place with the code. Five, don't just read a book or watch a video. Actually go through the steps. Active learning will help you retain more information faster. Six, take notes. If something you're learning doesn't make sense to you yet, then write it down and research it further. Seven, set goals for yourself. Maybe it's to create a basic HTML site that has five pages. Maybe it's styling that HTML site with CSS or maybe it's time to make it more dynamic with JavaScript or PHP. Either way, set a goal for yourself and set a date on when you wanna accomplish that goal. Eight, refactor code from tutorials to make it work differently. Dissect the code. Nine, take time to learn your tools from your operating system to your text editor and your local web server. 10, review other people's code on GitHub or WordPress.org. Download the code, 
and analyze it. Next, you have to optimize yourself. Learning anything can be difficult, especially if it's something completely brand new. So here are nine things you can do to optimize yourself. One, get a good night's sleep. Two, exercise regularly. Three, repeat or relearn the information later. Four, test yourself. Five, put the information in your memory palace. Six, use a mnemonic device. Seven, pay attention. It's amazing how easy you can lose focus even while you're reading a book or watching a tutorial. So make sure to pay attention. Eight, make it relevant to your life. Nine, eat a brain healthy diet. The next thing to consider is getting into flow, into a state of flow. And there's a lot of ways you could do this and everybody's different, but this is what I like to do. I like to listen to music, but without words. This helps me to focus and to get lost in what I'm doing. You also gotta clear your mind. If you got a lot of stuff bouncing around up here, it's gonna be hard to try to put in new information. So clear your mind. And right before you sit down to start practicing code, try to think positive thoughts. Negativity will definitely hold you back. Your mindset matters. If you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, you can't. So learning to code at any age is possible. Me, I'm teaching my kids about code. I'm teaching my kids about technology and how to use it effectively. If you learn when you're young, you're gonna develop a strong foundation and you have a lot of time ahead of you to master your craft. You can also learn when you're older. You just have to make sure you can focus and dedicate time to learning how to code. And the beauty about learning how to code later in life is that you have a lifetime of experiences to work off of. You can create solutions to real world problems. And that's ultimately the purpose of code. So hopefully this closes the debate on whether or not there is an age when it's too late to learn how to code. So yes, I just turned 41 and I'm gonna continuously learn more about code, more about thinking like a programmer, taking it to the next level, learning new languages, and finding creative ways to make good solutions, and pretty much taking my skill set to the next level. I'll probably be doing this until I'm 70 or 80 years old. So if you're new to my channel, then check out some of the other videos I have in the cards in the upper right hand corner, and also take a look at the library of videos I have here on YouTube. And if you like what you see, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding.